Oh, folks, I'm afraid that we got some bad news, everybody. You like the bad news, right? I'm gonna give it to you straight. So we're gonna get into the story, and a lot of people are now talking about it. In the last video, we talked about the game potentially getting banned. If you didn't know, there are rumors that we're gonna be having this tower mission in the game, and there's talks about banning the game, censoring the game. I will link you that video, but this, is, this video is not about that. So apparently, check this out, right? We're gonna get right into this video. Like this video if you just want a good game, man. Dislike the video if not. I don't know, man. Some people don't want good games. Some people just want uh, <laughs> friendly UAVs online, right? Some people just want friendly UAVs online. I mean, do your thing. Here's the thing. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is officially confirmed to be a DLC for the Call of Duty HQ app. Steam listing it, uh, and, and it is up now as DLC with the parent app being called Call of Duty. So yeah, apparently it is considered to be just a DLC, just like how Modern Warfare 3 was. But we do know that Modern Warfare 3 was truly a DLC, and I gotta I gotta show you guys this video, and there's a lot more. Get ready for the climax. But we do know that Modern Warfare 3 was actually a DLC. It it was yeah right. It was supposed to be a DLC that they charge everybody seventy dollars, seventy dollars. This time, a lot of people do believe that it's going to be a full game, but it's still going to be under Call of Duty HQ, and it's being called a DLC. A lot of people are worried that that means that it's not going to have the Platinum Trophy. I guess uh, we also have an equivalent on Xbox as well, where you get like, you know, when, once you unlock all the, the achievements, you get like that Platinum achievement. I'm not sure what you call it exactly on Xbox. Let me know if you play on Xbox, but... Ro uh, wait for it, roll it. Dynamite. And this morning, we're going to be talking about the latest controversy surrounding Black Ops 6 being a quote-unquote DLC to Modern yeah. Warfare 2. Definitely stay tuned. But before you jump into that, be sure to hit wait that subscribe it. button down below, drop a like, and I can now take a breather following the craziness this past week with the launch of Season 4 and a ton of brand new rumors and leaks that did pop up for Black Ops yeah, 6. Love there was so love much it. to cover, and as of this weekend, I can finally take it easy and kind of break down some topics that I really want to do some commentary about. So let's jump right into things. With that, we have plenty of brand new article coverage also going up over on detonated.com for okay. those who want to stay up to date with Damn. all things called brother even got his website up man that, that's crazy man i love it brother i love it man. Call of duty so as you guys are likely aware in 2022 modern warfare 2 introduced the call of duty hq application Sadly. it would effectively put an end to the warzone one era right modern warfare 19 cold war and vanguard which were kind of stitched together with tape from warzone one right one of the worst decision they ever made man the menu is looking so bad right now like the video if you agree like the video if the game if we should not have to download 300 gigabytes call of duty hq and download the game right after bro what the hell is going on dislike the video if call of duty is the only game you want to have on your playstation or xbox and you don't want to play any other game <laughs> Right? Like, even if... Okay, listen, man. Even if Call of Duty is the only game you play and that's the only game you want to play, fair. But uh, but do you want this game to take your entire SSD space? <laughs> like, what the hell are we doing here, bro? Well, Warzone 1 became Warzone Pacific with the Vanguard integration, aka Caldera, and things became a mess. Without going off on a tangent, every time one mode would get an update, oftentimes other modes across those other Call of Duty titles would break, right? You would see Cold yeah. War break if Warzone 1 got an update. You yeah. would see Vanguard break when Modern Warfare 19 finally got fixed. Exactly. You would see things just... And there are, like, a lot of issues with, like, connecting all the games together sure you can connect the stories but without like literally connecting the game files in a way where it's like messing around and you know when you have i remember when black ops cold war came out warzone was messed up i believe same happened with modern warfare 2022 and same happened with modern warfare 2023 could be wrong i didn't buy modern warfare 2023 Bruh. but I, I hope this game is not a dlc they're calling it a dlc right now <laughs> but i hope it's not like a dlc dlc or a patch like modern warfare 2023 just all over the place Four all the years. time and i think honestly the way that cod hq currently functions following the mw2 release is how things should have always went with Warzone, but that couldn't have been the case before since there was never a plan to update Warzone for multiple years. It was meant for Warzone to be just a battle royale for the yeah. Modern Warfare 19 experience, then Cold War and Vanguard would have their own individual battle royales, but obviously those plans were later canceled. Now, as be Because they saw money coming in like Tsunami, they were seeing money, they were seeing money, and everybody buying like the BBC bundles, the $20 skins, the anime waifu bundles, the Teletoby bundles. <laughs> 
<laughs> man, I believe the gamers, man. I believe the gamers, man. Y'all suckers have ruined Activision's mindset. Y'all suckers have shown showed them the real beast, man. You thought that they showed us like the real bro, you, you thought that they showed us the real beast? Nah, bro, like you guys all of all of the gamers have showed them the real beast maybe not you maybe you're the one that was not buying the microtransactions like crazy or maybe you're somebody that never even bought it salute okay respect right there don demarco real quick okay don demarco real quick but 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 yeah a lot of people done did done show them the beast as far as COD HQ goes, I think as far as what it stands for and for what it represents, I think it's a good idea that just wasn't executed in the way that I thought it was going to. I was hoping yeah. something more along the lines of the Master Chief Collection would have been how the COD HQ was designed. Like I talked about on the podcast, I think the way they should have done it is have us all download the COD HQ experience individually, right? Separate from any Call of Duty title, but we just download the HQ app from the PSN store, the Xbox Marketplace, Battle at Steam, wherever, and then as we have that installed on our platform, then once we go ahead and put a disc in, or once we go ahead and download a Call of Duty title, it kind of just adds on to that COD HQ application that's separate, so that we can create a seamless transition from game mode to game mode, title to title, without the need to have to reboot the application to play campaign, or to play a different COD title, which is also- I got a better solution, how about- You know what I'm saying? Or I got another solution. Like, just give the game to us for free, bro. That's it. That, 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 that's it. Kiss close. <laughs> Kiss solve, man. Like the video if you agree, man. Dislike if you disagree. Give the game to us for free and keep it like individual application. Don't make us download Call of Duty HQ all the time, bro. And here's the thing, right? Do you need to own Modern Warfare 2022? Because that's the game I believe that really started the Call of Duty HQ. And you gotta have that in order to play like other Call of Duty games. Do you need to buy that game in order to play Black Ops, the upcoming one? Certainly not, right? I think Call of Duty HQ is obviously free, but once you hop on it, then it will be like, hey, give us your $70, uh, and we'll unlock you the, the Modern Warfare 2022. And I, I suppose that you download Modern Warfare 2022, but you just cannot play it, right? You just gotta buy, and it's gonna, it's gonna give you that activation token, which is probably and approximately gonna be 100 kilobytes, perhaps like a couple of megabytes. And that is like the licensing key, right? If you, the, the PC master is know what I'm talking about, right? So you do that and then boom, you get to play it. But when you download Call of Duty HQ, you have to literally download everything. And I guess later on you can uninstall certain packs, but but bruh, like they have complicated. And, and to some of you out there, I'm probably speaking Chinese right now, right? Which means that you don't know what I'm saying here. And yeah, they, they're making complicated like that, bro. They're literally complicating it. So if you're a casual fan, you're probably like, hey, excuse me, like, uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what you're saying, bro. Uh, you speaking Chinese right now, bro. Uh, where are my Chinese homies at, right? And the, my Chinese homies would be like, bro, like, you suck at speaking English right now? I don't get it. So it's like equally excuse <laughs> confusing for everybody, man. For everybody. I mean, damn, man. Damn, man. Damn, man. Also still currently being supported. Now it's funny how what I just explained technically is the way it works on PC. It's just console where things get really sticky, where uh -oh. it appears as if you're always downloading Modern Warfare 2 when you first download COD yeah, HQ, yeah, yeah. and you're forced to download that game See? before you're given the ability to then uninstall those game packs in favor of whatever else you want to install on your console. I just think on PC it's a lot more clear where you download the base COD HQ app and you can just uncheck Modern Warfare 2, whereas on console it's like, nope, you can't really do that. PC will never understand console struggles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the hell are we doing there? So the size of Call of Duty HQ and PS5 is around 159 gigabytes without installing any packs for Modern Warfare 2. Bum, bum, oh my God. And I gotta find you this tweet, right? Because I, I remember like I posted this tweet over on my Twitter. If you do have Twitter, I would love to have you. Let me just scroll. This is important. This is really important. Bear with me here for a second, okay? I'm gonna find that tweet and you will see truly what's going on, right? Because this was absolutely insane. So a, f a friend of mine, a IRL homie, IRL homie, a brother of mine, he actually just sent me this uh, picture over on the, the Facebooks, right? And then I posted, reposted this over on uh, Twitter here. And let me actually try and find it. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So check this out, okay? A homeboy of mine sent me this pic. Lol, he was furious. And guess what? 
he has Call of Duty installed 300 gigabytes. And understand this, he has another Call of Duty application installed, not sure what it is, but 12 gigs. Okay, not bad, not bad. But he got Black Ops Cold War installed and that's another 100 gigs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So all in all, like 306 gigs, almost 13 gigs, and almost 100 gigs, over 410 gigs like closer to 420 now some of you are like yo man 420 blizzard 420 blizzard yeah the numbers sound good when you say it like that but we're talking gigabytes bruh so those of you that have like the normal playstation 5 with the normal ssd this is literally taking your entire ssd hostage you think that's good oh i mean if you have two games installed now comes black ops 6 that's also gonna take a whole lot of other space absolute bonkers man so to experience the story part of black ops 6 you need to download 160 gigabytes plus 15 uh 30 gigs campaign packs which is close to 200 gigabytes for a three to four, <laughs> four hour campaign what? What? What are you doing? <laughs> for three to four hour campaign guys so i i think like homies are definitely anticipating that black ops 6 campaign length is gonna be three to six hours as well bruh 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 indeed if that's really the case man holy crap activision should either remove modern warfare 2 from call of duty hq plus make modern warfare 3 packs optional or provide a way to download campaigns separately in 40 to 50 gigabytes packages. Here's my solution. Make the game free and make people not install Call of Duty HQ. When you bought a game separately, you play that game separately. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree that so you kind of get stuck with the same technical issue we had with modern warfare 19's warzone 1 experience now i'm not going to pretend like i'm a dev or an engineer or some type of technical expert that could really break down how that would work or if it would work but that's just how i would have envisioned a call of duty hq app i wouldn't have wanted it to be a scenario where it's attached to a specific call of duty title yeah, exactly, like how yeah. warzone 1 always existed through modern warfare 2019 19. but i do feel like hot hq exists because it really helps developers out so if devs have to help each other out with their own Call of Duty titles, they're all on the same unified engine. I also think the COD HQ makes for easier Warzone integrations, which I don't think are going anywhere anytime soon, so I understand where COD HQ is at, but I think as a bit of a downside to everything being unified, you have a scenario like we saw in 2022 where I think following the launch of Modern Warfare 2 and with the announcement of Warzone Mobile, people discovered Black Ops 6 information within the Warzone Mobile's files. <sighs> I think that's actually wild to think about, yeah, because yeah, of everything yeah, yeah. being in... And because of that, like, two screens screenshots were two artwork screenshots were leaked and we had that like almost two years ago at this point right and yeah we had rumors back then everybody was saying yeah, we got black ops leaking out we got black ops leaking out i remember making that video back then too in one unified engine you could have leaks for unrelated call of duty titles in the current year's title so i think without a doubt you'll eventually end up seeing leaks for let's say infinity war or sledgehammer's next title when there's data mines that happen for black ops 6 or black ops 2025 that could happen something as silly as black ops 6 leaking through warzone mobile did happen a couple of years ago and we're just now seeing at least as of today Wait for what it. some of those leaks meant there were rumors and even concept art images that were posted here isn't it crazy that black ops 6 actually leaked in 2022 because of warzone mobile yeah for, for, for because of warzone mobile and right as we get down to the climax here ladies and gentlemen i want to say i have a second channel this is where we upload ufo content and conspiracy content every single day link should be in the pinned comment where you can catch all my youtube channels twitter instagram twitch and also a secret link oh, shit. yeah all right let's get back to the content now boo boo years ago about Saddam Hussein's palace and about the Gulf War and now we're seeing the reveal of Black Ops 6 and those leaks and finally added it. up. But you guys probably noticed that according to the Steam database, Black Ops 6 is indeed a Call of Duty title for Call of Duty. If you're like, wait, what does that mean? Is that a DLC for MW2? Nope, that's not really the case. I think what's confusing for most people to understand is that Modern Warfare 2 launched with the Call of Duty HQ application. So technically, Modern Warfare 2 and COD HQ are nearly the same application, even though you can go ahead and uninstall the Modern Warfare 2 packs if you want. The remnants in the foundation of Modern Warfare 2, however... Yeah, and, and realistically, like, even though I somebody, I'm somebody, i somebody that did not buy Modern Warfare 2023 because it was a DLC and they were overcharging that for that piece of trash, uh, people are saying gameplay's fine and subjectively some people loved it. Okay, if you loved it, you loved it, right? But objectively, I'm attacking it from an objective standpoint. That was piece of trash. $70, horrendous. That game should have been like 20 bucks, 30 bucks max and i would have bought it right some of you are like hey it's it's worth 70 dollars and yes if it's worth 70 dollars for you that's perfectly fine 
if you enjoyed it, hey, I I'm happy for you, right? But for me, I didn't buy it. But even then, I'm, yeah, the point is that, like, I didn't buy Modern Warfare 2023 because it was a DLC. Uh, it should have been not 70 bucks. But this time, I don't think Black Ops 6 is going to be a DLC because they're saying four years. Now, if the game turns out bad, then, of course, I'm going to skip it. But I don't think it's necessarily going to be, like, a dlc dlc technically it's gonna be a dlc like uh, be because uh, it's gonna be under call of duty h2 so it's gonna be dlc like that but i don't think content wise it's gonna be a dlc i think it's a new game but saying new and call of duty i understand some of you saying that some of you will say that excuse new <laughs> new and call of duty doesn't go together you're absolutely right so uh, but still you understand what i'm saying right like it's it's, it's gonna be a new game maybe potentially i guess we're gonna find out but i don't think it's like a dlc dlc in that aspect though it might be it might be and if it is then well uh, another game i'm not gonna buy it, ladies and gentlemen <laughs> will always be there in the kata hq app so it's almost like every new kata to release after mw2 is a quote-unquote dlc for that game but in reality it's, it's really not, just yeah. a situation where every new kata is a dlc for the call of duty hq app it doesn't really mean anything right it's just yeah, this weird yeah. own that never really meant anything to be begin with it's not the gotcha moment that people seem to think it is within their twitter or reddit echo chambers it's just this really weird controversy that started that i wanted to make a full video about because activision themselves even confirmed i think it was a good year or so ago that every call of duty going forward for the foreseeable future will release under the call of duty application and yeah. it did state though that even within the same engine but i understand like for the normies this might sound bad because the normies would be like oh it's a dlc bro and understandably right like i, I feel like that gamers deserve more not that i feel like gamers deserve more online for ps5 and xbox should be free games should release better prices should be lower down R remove microtransactions or at least do not prioritize microtransactions and sacrifice actual good content in game okay and if the game is free then okay you can have microtransactions uh, but if a game costs 70 bucks then hey remove the microtransactions like the video if you agree man gamers deserve more absolutely and the normies of course like if they're gonna be like it's a dlc i don't blame you man because uh, yeah bro like gamers deserve more so let's ask for more man this game better this game four years bro this game better give me a bj bro this game better have like 20 30 multiplayer maps at launch minimum okay at least three zombie maps they're saying two zombie maps i mean bruh and, and now suckers are anticipating that the campaign is gonna be three to four hours long if i don't think that's true i don't think that's true i think realistically it can be like six to seven hours usually that's how it is but this time that they these things have took like four years to make it should be more than like 10 12 hours so come on now bro come on man we're paying like 70 bucks for this game and in quite honest uh, quite honestly when you get the game you buy normally people buy don't they buy battle passes right 30 dollar black cells 20 dollar skins $80 King Kong punches, $100 weapon skins, right? So in all reality, on average, people are going to be paying more than just $70. On average, people are going to be pay paying a roughly around $150 on average. Some people just going to buy the game for $70 and not pay any anything more. But generally speaking, a lot of people are going to buy all the Black Cell bundles. $30, $30, $30, a skin here or there. You know, Christmas is coming, so I'm going to buy more right so yeah generally speaking most uh most people would be spending more than just 70 dollars so you're paying a lot if you think about it and the game's coming out every single year so yeah a lot of people are spending quite a lot of money on on games like that so i i, I hope it got uh, some content man that that can justify that pricing in the same launch maybe i'm a toxic gamer maybe maybe this take is too wild out there maybe 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 we should lower our expectations down let me know what you think on it sure a black ops game will still feel like a black ops game and a modern warfare title will still feel like a modern warfare title here's their official statement previously the annualized installments of cod were developed by different studios using different game engines which gave each new title a distinct look and feel both players and devs have said that they enjoyed the differentiation of titles in the past despite the lack of consistency 
consistency. Now, it's being okay. noted that even with the consolidation of the franchise around one game engine, new versions of the game will still feel different from one another. As they uh -oh. give a clear example there of MW and even Black Ops. But hey, I'm with you guys. When you guys claim that you want a Call of Duty to feel like its own Call of Duty, you want that unique identity with the main menu, I used to love some of the badass menus we got back in the day. I mean, hell, yeah. even oh, the early yeah, Polar yeah. menu was phenomenal. And there's a new Black Ops 6 menu we're going to be seeing with COD HQ, I think close to the reveal event, which is relatively soon. But I, I genuinely feel like that the OG menu screens for like the original Modern Warfare 20, uh, not 2022, the original Modern Warfare 2 2009 was good. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, the original one. The menus were so simple yet effective. It was so easy to uh, invite your homies into the lobbies, right? Play, find match, create class on the go. It was so good, man. Why change it? Why fix what is not broken? Surely you could have enhanced it, but this is... I don't call this enhancing. This is just effery on, like, clown level, bro. This is clownry, bro. Like, y'all suckers are changing crap and making it even more complicated for literally no reason. You can have new art, absolutely. And back in the days, they had new art for every Call of Duty game, but they kept the menus super, super simple. It was good. And apparently, this is that video where suckers are now talking about the game getting censored or even banned. Yay! With the tower situation, check out this video on the screen. On the left, we got a lot of PS fan, uh, PS5 fanboys and Xbox fanboys mad because of the new information that just released. Check out both of these videos and I will see you right there.